So greetings from Pennsylvania once again, and more specifically, we're here in Bucks County. We just got done filming another section of the Delaware Canal, riding some bike. Where's my bike? Oh yeah, you can see the bike up on top of the Jeep there. Now we're here in Ralph Stover State Park. We're gonna visit a site I was at many years ago, who knows, six, seven years ago. Um, this is part of my series on the Doan Gang, which is part of a larger series called Treasure in Pennsylvania. Um, I'll give you a little refresher on the Doan Gang as we do a bit of hiking to a location where, according to some legend goes, they hid some of their treasure, some of their loot that they stole. So well, let's get going. It's a bit later in the day, but I think I got time. It's a little bit after three o'clock. I think we got time to do this hike. So let me show you around first. Yeah, so down here is what, what I think is what they call the Tohicken Creek. That's a nice area down there. And this one bridge, I think they call it the Pony Bridge or something. Kind of an interesting bridge. I'm not gonna film that today. But anyway, we're gonna head behind this little pavilion, I think is where our trail is. If I remember correctly, like I said, I did this years ago. Yeah, there is a trail here yet. Going off into the woods. So if you remember anything from the previous video I did on the Doan Gang, I think that was last summer, they were a, a band of outlaws in the late 1700s, you know, 1770s, 1780s, stealing from the rich and things like that. Also, they were Tories. They were British supporters, British loyalists, and they acted as spies during the Revolutionary War for the British. So that was their legacy. <laughs> we visited the graves of some of them, I think it was Abraham and Levi, I think it was. And they were buried on the outside of that one Quaker cemetery we visited. They weren't buried in the cemetery because they were outlaws, so they buried them outside the cemetery. Let's see. I don't think that's where we want to go. Of course, Abraham and Levi were hung. The brother Moses was killed before them. I think it's some kind of a botched robbery. I forget how that, exactly that went. I think he died later in jail. I think I got that right, but um, we had talked about finding his tombstone. Let me switch hands here. But it is just out in the field somewhere. But um, several viewers have let me know that his tombstone is out on display at a local museum. So we'll probably try and find that sometime and check it out. The tombstone of Moses. Moses Doan. <laughs> Not Moses from the Bible or anything like that. This trail's a little bit more rugged than I remember. Not really, I don't think it's really an official trail, but definitely seen some better days. These ruts and stuff. Ugh. Yeah, but uh, they did their business in this area. A lot of it was done in Bucks County. So yeah, they, according to legend, according to rumors, they had a number of hideouts in the area. Number of places, number of caves. And this is potentially one of them that we're headed to. It's called Doan's Cave. Oh boy. Now there's no treasure in the cave today, as far as anybody knows, but it's just an interesting thought that perhaps at some point in the past, you know, in the 70, late 1700s, it was a place where they hid some of their loot. A place where they hid out. And it, it is a cave. Not a big one, but I feel like we're not too far from it. So remember this one ridge coming down. Because I always say that it ends up being like another mile or so. Yeah, all members of the Doan gang. A bunch of them, some were killed, some were hung, some were exiled, some escaped. But they left quite a legacy in this area. Whoop, slip of the rocks. Everything's kind of wet.
even in, in my home area of Berks County, there's a legend of them hiding loot in the woods there. I think I did a video on that not too long ago. I think maybe, maybe that was last summer. In the, in the Warnersville area. All right, I think we're almost there. Yeah, because I remember these rocks. So, all kinds of little, tiny little areas you could hide in. Almost look like caves, but they're not. Well, if you're small enough, I guess you could get into some of these areas. <laughs> Sneak back into there. But I'm not that small. Ooh, is this the spot? I th oops, I think this is the spot we're looking for. Check that out. Yes, I'm pretty sure this is the cave we want. I didn't remember to bring a light on. <laughs> a light with. But yeah. This is definitely it. Remember that there's still some lumber in there. That's actually a beautiful spot because we're right next to the creek. You know, I, if I was desperate, I could, I could hang out here for maybe a couple days. <laughs> we'll go in in a moment. I want to show you what that looks like around here too. So we'll crawl in there in a moment. It doesn't go in terribly far, but it's definitely a cave. If you look, it's a beautiful spot here. Down there's the, the creek. Amazing spot. Definitely, definitely could live here. All right, so let's go check it out. Camera work might be a little shaky as we crawl through into here. I'll get the flashlight on in a moment here. Actually, trying to film and shine a flashlight at the same time while crawling in a cave. Ouch! Ouch! Very rocky. Should have brought my knee pads along. That's what we need to do. Feels good in here, though. in here. I see a bunch of tree roots and stuff. It's like people have been, almost think people, looks like people have been digging in here. But that's our cave. All right, so it isn't anything super huge. I think the lighting's good. I just have it fracking off the ceiling. But you know, if you were, I'll show you what it looks like going looking that way. But hey, if you were trying to evade the law, looking for a little place to hide some treasure, this place would do. I guess it's not terribly big back there, but it would work. You could sleep in here too. But anyway, yeah, just it's, it's kind of cool to think that this might have been a might, but we don't know for sure. But it may have been one of the hideouts for the members of the Doan Gang, like especially after they did rob uh, an area where you know the law would be looking for them. Of course, if they did find you here, there'd be no way to get out. <laughs> but anyway. All right, let me show you looking out that way. So that's what it looks like looking out. As you can see, I mean, it's, just a little, it's a little bit of a crawl in, but yeah. Perhaps sitting in the midst of history here. All right, but it's time to get on out of here. I think if I can crawl my way out again. <laughs> One hand free, don't need a flashlight this time. Ouch walk towards the light, or crawl towards the light. rocks but we made it out <laughs> all right but there you go we made it out yeah that one rocket to 
front wobbles quite a bit. Maybe it's maybe it's what they call a booby trap for people trying to steal the loot. Yeah, interesting spot. Like I said, in the cave, I think we don't really know for sure if this is one of their hideouts, but it's what local legend says. And it's believable. Yeah, check out beautiful spot here with all these rock formations and everything. And it doesn't have to be necessarily the cave. That stuff was hidden in. Like, so if you look around, there's all kinds of spots, cracks, and nooks and things where you could potentially hide something. Little burlap sacks of coins or something like that. I feel like there used to be a, a monument or a memorial to someone in this area. Might take a look around in a moment, but yeah. Right there's our cave, but it looks like there's other little cavelets around. Really neat spot. Yeah, you can see people come here. There's like a little, someone was stacking some stone there. Just have a quick little look around since we're here. Oh, it's my back, my backpack. Yeah, I don't know if it's still here or not. That monument. Yeah, I think it's up here. I see some colors of stuff, but yeah, we're going to get too close. But right on, the cave is right down below us. Yeah, it's still here. The all kinds of ornaments and stuff. There's pictures here now, too. Sullivan James. Bird, February 28th, 1990 to September 2010. 20 years old. Yeah, they do have pictures here now of him. Not sure which one is him. Maybe that one right there. Not sure what happened. But, I mean, obviously he passed away, but... Oh yeah, someone else is here too. The loving memory of Kirsten Britton. So other people put stuff here too. Kind of a neat spot for it though. Yeah, I mean look at that, it's beautiful down there. Hey, but if you know more about this fella, you can say something down below in the comments. Doesn't really say much more about him. There's a poem to him right there. Yeah. All right, we'll let this place go. Beautiful little spot. Start making our way back. Yeah, we're kind of on the back side of those rocks now. Right by Cool Cave. But there are other spots in the area where supposedly there's a cave or a place that they hid out, hid treasure. One's right over nearby here, a place called High Rocks. I explored there a little bit years ago, never found the cave. It's a really neat area though, but one of you told me that they, uh, at some point, the powers that be dropped the boulder in front of that cave and blocked it off. I don't know whether that's true or not, I don't know, but. Wouldn't be surprised. And supposedly there was a cave near the Delaware River at Point Pleasant. So, haven't been able to find any information on that one though, but there's other places. Oh, and there's a place down in Tyler State Park too where supposedly they met and hung out. I gotta try and film that too. And they am planning on getting to that museum where Moses, uh, his tombstone is at. But I think it's gonna be there for several years. But I'd like to get to it this summer. Now this part of our series here. Yeah, so some 250 or so years later, the spirit of the Doan gang lives on. <laughs> you know, the memory is still pretty solid in this area. Well, not everybody knows about him, but enough people do. All right, but I'm back in the parking lot. That'll be it for this video, which is it's not, a short, not a bad little walk, a little shorter than I remember, but that's not bad either. Alright, but I think I'm 
do just a little bit more filming today. There's two covered bridges right in here next to Ralph Stowers. So I think we'll get to those before heading home. But as always, folks, thanks for coming along this little adventure. Hopefully we'll see you on the next one.